For this bow support piece, I cut off a one foot piece of the uh, two by eight of Western Red Cedar. And I thought how to place this, I could have placed it up flush with the front board and then tried to trim this off down here. This is almost straight here. So instead, what I'm gonna do is put it up against this corner and then trim this off. And to mark this line, I put a board here like this and just got that edge as close as I can there. And then take the pencil and mark the line here. And that is the line that I'll cut. And then this should fit right up against that board right there. And that looks like a good fit. I'll just epoxy that in place just like that. Both hulls are standing up now and I put in the extra support piece here in the bow. And I mentioned in the previous video that this was going to be a triangular piece. And then I would have needed to uh, cut it so that the grains were going diagonal. Uh, I went ahead and just made it uh, rectangular, just cut this off and uh, for a slight angle and let the grain uh, run uh, horizontal there. I think this uh, overall this will be stronger. And here on, uh, let's see, this is the port side. So the holes are still backwards. Uh, over here on the, on the port side I have the same support piece. So, like I said, the holes are still backwards. Uh, what I've done here is I've clamped them together so that they are much stronger. They don't tip over. Um, there's, there's no real uh, chance of them tipping over or anything. And let's see, also in the previous video, I mentioned uh, that I was going to show you how I was marking the lines here on the hull bottoms to make sure that these bulkheads were uh, straight up and down and due to editing that clip got left out so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that uh, now to determine the marks uh, for the bulkheads here where it's going to be positioned on or up against the hull bottom I want to make sure that the line is perfectly perpendicular to the center line of the hull bottom. And at these upper bulkheads, I can't use a, a square because the hull bottom here is already curving up. And let me show you, if we were to put this square here, you can see that the line would not I mean it would be you know curving back or angled back like this so the way I do this is I clamp a, a straight board up against the line the center line of the whole bottom and then with that board there it's very easy to put the the square and move it back and forth and then all I need to do is take this up against there and move it back until it lines up with the mark that I make down here and then that's where I would draw the line right here so that's how I'm uh, I guess uh, calculating the the actual perpendicular I mean it's easy to make a perpendicular a 90 degree angle here but to get it lined up with this edge of the bulkhead support is the tricky part and I think by just clamping this it's like a little shelf by just temporarily clamping this on that lets the square slide back and forth to get this line um, where it needs to be all right now that we're back from that uh, clip that got left out I'll continue showing you the alignment here of the two holes so by clamping them together and aligning them so that they're they're flat here and that they both um, come to the same point here uh, sorry for the shakiness there I 
uh, really need to hold the camera with both hands to keep it from shaking. Uh, so anyway, uh, you can see that the bulkhead number six is mostly lined up. There's a little bit of a, a difference of an angle, but not much. When this is um, spanned with the, the beam, I think this uh, these bulkheads here can shift a little bit uh, to be able to glue in place with with the beam. There's a little bit more of a discrepancy in the angle here on bulkhead number five. You can see this one probably uh, comes in at a bit of an angle there, but that's okay because there's nothing that connects these two bulkheads. For bulkhead number four, I like the alignment of these quite well. Looking here we can see that when we go to put um, the I guess the connecting piece that will go across these two bulkheads I think they're going to line up quite well and the cabin top I'm quite happy with how the alignment is the two um, cabin top stringers I was worried that one was going to be significantly lower than the other but I think that's pretty good walk along you can hear the platform the build platform creaking as I walk on it uh, okay, let's see here at bulkhead number two now we have this um, a little bit more of a discrepancy here and I might need to fix this if you can see the alignment here what I'm worried about is that bulkhead over there is significantly more forward than this one or or other way to put it is this one is more back here maybe you can see that is a good um, angle there what I'm looking at there you can see that other bulkhead on the port side is significantly more forward than this one and one of these two is not lined up well and I think it might be this one I'll have to get a, a straight edge and see which one is not correct and whichever one it is if it is this one I think what I'm going to do is take my saw and cut this out cut this um, glue joint reposition this bulkhead and re-glue it in because this is a bit too much off to um, really um, I think it's going to cause problems if I leave it like that and then here at bulkhead number one Again, the alignment is pretty good, uh, but there is nothing that actually connects these two. So anything that's off is is okay, actually. So, all right, so um, let's see. The things that we need to work on here that I need to do is fix this um, misalignment between the two bulkhead number twos. And then I think after that, the next thing is to start uh, putting fillets um, or coves along all of the inside joints so for instance all along here and I did not do that originally because I wanted to be able to take measurements from the hull that I had completed uh, to be able to transfer those over to make sure that I got the same measurements on both hulls and uh, any fillets in the port hull would have um, made the uh, taking those measurements more difficult so I left those out for now but now it's time to uh, to put those those fillets in so uh, I'm gonna fix that bulkhead and get the fillets in so while both of the bulkhead twos were slightly off uh, the one that I recently did on the starboard hull was more off than the other one so that's the one that I cut here and you might even be able to see the original pencil lines and where it needs to go instead. So here are my original pencil lines and I've now got it moved a little bit farther uh, forward than what it was before. And with that, it now lines up much nicer with the other bulkhead. You can see, not only am I looking for a plane between the two, but I'm also looking for this corner matching up with the other corner over there. So that's what 
I think I just need to glue it in to this new position. I'm working on the port hull right now at the bow and what I'm doing here is rounding over the stringers so that fiberglass will be able to to make this curve. Now along the inside um, bins here or the inside angles there will be a a fillet of fiberglass put in there to, to round that out but it's these outside bins that need to be uh, rounded over and I'm just using a combination of a sanding block and I have a air powered detail sander which works really well really fast um, it's a little difficult with my shaky hands to to work it but uh, let me show you a little bit here of what that looks like now normally I would be doing this with holding it with both hands so I'm going to try to hold the camera with one hand and the sander with another and show you here just this angle I've got one left over here that's got a, a sharp uh, corner on it No, that's not going to work with me holding with one hand, but that's how I do it. Um, so I'll put the camera down a little bit and I'll use both hands to hold it. And, and then I'll be able to get the uh, corner on that one uh, put in place. And what I think I'm going to do is just round over the corners here along the bottoms of all of these. And then I'll be able to put fiberglass here all up in here. I think I'm just going to coat this with epoxy so I don't need to worry so much about these sharp corners. I'll still put fillets but I'm not going to worry about these sharp corners except for bulkheads two and four because these are more structural so for these I think I am going to go ahead and round over these long support uh, pieces there and down here on bulkhead four inside here I'll round over those as well and that way at least bulkheads two and four will be fully uh, tabbed into the sides and the bottom and everything else will uh, be completely waterproofed uh, with the with the epoxy all right, so I'm going to continue uh, rounding over and sanding all these uh, support wood. With this little trim router and a quarter inch round over bit, I'm able to get most of the wood up to uh, quite close to the edges. It won't go all the way. And I'll be able to finish that off with the detailed sander, the air powered detail sander. And I'll have to do other edges like this one completely with the detail sander because the trim router just can't fit in there up against both edges like that but the trim router does uh, help to uh, save a lot of work all of the uh, stringers and support wood is now rounded over so that the uh, fiberglass will be able to make uh, a curve along there instead of having a sharp edge and one thing I want to mention with the uh, air power detail sander is these type of tools need oil and when especially when you first turn it on there's an exhaust here and it will uh, start spraying out a lot of oil so the last thing I want is to get oil all over the wood while I'm using the the sander so what I do is I try to uh, run it at speed a bit, um, holding a napkin over it away from the boat uh, to try to get as much of that oil out of there as, as possible. And the other thing I want to show you is where I'm actually rounding these edges. So anywhere that I want to put the fiberglass over, I'm rounding over, like here and so on. Um, for these support pieces that will hold a board for the uh, airtight flotation compartments, I'm rounding over the bottom edge, but I'm leaving this top edge square. And the same thing here for 
the bridge deck stringer, I'm rounding over the bottom edge, but the top edge here I'm leaving square because this is be this will be where the um, the planking, uh, the bridge deck planking will go across. And for a stringer like this, again I'm rounding over the bottom edge, but I don't know yet what's going to be on this top edge. So for now I'm leaving this one uh, as a as a square, um, a sharp edge. And if we take a look uh, over here, now for this one, this is going to be inside the cabin. So I am rounding over both the top and the bottom edge of this. So uh, it would be nice if the plans would uh, uh, give some of these details about, you know, which edges should be rounded over and which should remain uh, uh, square. But the plans leave a lot of the details, the construction details like this, uh, up to the builder to figure out. So uh, that's that's what I'm doing as I, as I go along, and that's part of the reason why I didn't round over this wood uh, ahead of time. Is well, one I didn't think about it, and two, uh, you know, the plans just didn't have that detail, and three, even if I had thought about it, I'm glad I waited because. Then, you know, I might have just rounded over, for instance, this top edge all along this entire stringer where really out here I wanted to leave it uh, sharp like this. So that's kind of what uh, the state of that. And the last thing that I need to do uh, here to get all of this ready is any of these... Uh, places here where there were squeeze out or any epoxy leaking, leaking out, I need to go through and make sure that all of those are sanded and roughed up uh, so that when I put the, the cove on there or a little fillet of uh, epoxy that it will stick properly. So I think that's going to be enough for this video. Uh, there's going to be a lot more happening in the next video, I'm going to start some uh, planking here on these inside hull sides and uh, start putting the uh, epoxy fillets in place and at the same time probably also starting some fiberglassing uh, inside the hull. So that will all have to wait for the next video. I think there's enough here for you to get some value out of and I hope you enjoy it. And it benefits you and hopefully it encourages you to uh, take on a project like this yourself as well. Alright, that'll be enough for this video. Bye.